Hello and welcome to Focus here on France 24. It's 50 years since France and Germany officially buried the hatchet in the wake of the Second World War. Also known as the Treaty of Friendship, the Elysee Treaty, signed by Conrad Adenauer and Charles de Gaulle in 1963, ended centuries of rivalry and called for regular consultations between Paris and Berlin on all important issues. Half a century later, it seems the younger generation of French people have taken the treaty seriously. There are now at least 15,000 French people officially living in Berlin, but the real figure could be as much as double that. Attracted by the city's buzzing nightlife and low cost of living, they're hopping across the border for a new life. So, is the Treaty of Friendship working? We take a look at the French people who've learned to say Ich liebe dich to Berlin. I first came to Berlin when I was about 16 and I promised myself that I'd come back for at least six months or a year. I did an internship for six months and I couldn't leave. Her love affair with Berlin has been going on for a year and a half. Lisa is now studying to be a journalist at Berlin's prestigious University of Arts. She's just one of the 14,000 French who've fallen under Berlin's spell. What's going on culturally is really important to me. Whether it's dance, opera or just going out, there's a really rich art scene in Berlin. And that life's affordable makes it so much easier for young people living here. Berlin is easy on your bank account, has a vibrant cultural scene, affordable rent and there's space. And that's what's drawing in artists. Dalila Daleas Bouzard is French-Algerian. Back in 1995, on a trip to Berlin, she decided to become an artist. Now she's finally settled into a small atelier in an old beer factory, which costs 100 euros a month. Here she can devote herself to her work. I'm not forced to get another job on the side to pay my way. I can focus completely on my art. And in addition to that, Berlin is a city that attracts so many people from all over the world. And in the art scene, that means there are the most incredible collaborations. The French community is one of the fastest growing groups in the city. And that's rubbing off on every district, with new French bistros and shops opening up. It's something Claude Trondel wouldn't have imagined possible when he first arrived back in 1990. Lots of French people are coming to live in Berlin. There are also a lot who are just coming here as tourists. 20 or 30 years ago, I don't think very many French people even thought of Germany as a vacation spot. Today, it's quite different. 200,000 French tourists come to Berlin each year. The city's poor but sexy image has clearly worked its magic on French young people. They take the strong French-German partnership for granted and want to know more about their neighbours. But this peace between France and Germany is seen as normal. They've never known any different. Instead, they're asking themselves, what do we have in common? Can we understand each other? Fewer people are learning the neighbor's language, be it the French or the Germans. And that's what could cause problems. And it may mean we move further apart and neglect our relationship. But for now, there's a healthy, mutual interest. In fact, almost 60% of the French say they'd like to live or work in Germany. A look there at the number of French people moving to Berlin. And the reason that we're looking at that is because of the Treaty of Friendship between France and Germany, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary today. Francois Hollande is in Berlin, where he's being hosted by Angela Merkel to celebrate that half a century of good relations between Berlin and Paris. 50 years since they buried the hatchet, Conrad Adenauer and Charles de Gaulle signed the Treaty of Friendship, or the Elysee Treaty, back in 1963. And that's an occasion to take a look at the relationship between Berlin and Paris. Half a century later, it does seem, as we've seen, that those French young people are taking that treaty seriously. Over 15,000 French people officially living in Berlin, but there could be even more of them unofficially living there as well. And for more on that relationship, I'm joined by our Berlin correspondent, Jessica Saltz. Jessica, thank you for being with us. Uh, has that influx of French people moving to the German capital come as a surprise then for German people? 
Well, the French population living in Berlin, at least the official statistics, uh, show it to be one of the largest populations from any EU, uh, EU country. But many people have been moving to Berlin from around the world in recent years, attracted in part by the famous bohemian lifestyle, cheap rents, and now, of course, with the strong economy, the promise of work. So to that end, it's not really too much of a surprise to the Berliners uh, that French people want to move here. But certainly the history of French people moving to Berlin is unique. Uh, in the 17th century, around 20,000 French Protestants, known as the Huguenots, uh, came to Berlin. And the Berlin's central Gendarmenmark Square, with the French and German churches facing each other, remembers this. And of course, in the years between 1945 and 1995, French forces were present uh, in the western part of the city in West Berlin and was felt as protective forces for West Berliners at that time. So it is a unique history. Now, what about the French perception of Germany? Has that changed much over time? Well, I think the perception of Germany internationally uh, has become more positive um, in recent years. Certainly, modern Germany is seen as a peaceful country uh, with a strong economy at the heart of Europe. And recent events have promoted a positive image for Germany, such as the 2006 World Cup, which brought many visitors to the country. But certainly, it seems that the French in particular are very keen to come across the border and explore Germany, find out more about their neighbors. Uh, a poll undertaken by the German embassy in Paris found out that 66% of French people had been to Germany and the 85% of those polled uh, had a positive image of their German neighbours. So what's the significance then of that Elysee Treaty and, and the alliance, the Franco-German alliance for, uh, for the younger generation? Well, I think for this generation who grew up with countries that uh, were largely uh, 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 allies, um, it, it has less significance uh, because they have never known any different. If, of course, it, there is still a strong relationship between France and Germany. It is estimated there are around uh, 2,000 institutions or groups that promote exchange between the countries and collaboration between the countries. There's a French and German television channel, and uh, there's the Office for Franco-German Youth, which uh, since its inception has allowed for 8 million young people from France and Germany to uh, make exchanges between the country and find out more about each other. But certainly it seems that this for a special friendship between the countries has less significance uh, for the younger generation. And while they like to travel to the other countries, um, it is, there's less of an impetus for them to, uh, less of a motive for them to actually stay and learn more about the culture uh, or in fact learn each other's languages as it was before. Now, this is a pretty significant anniversary, 50 years of friendship. Um, will that cement the bond between the two countries a bit more? Well, I think today will be largely comm uh, commemorative. Uh, the entirety of the French Parliament is coming over to sit with the Bundestag today. There will be, of course, large events throughout the day, many politicians meeting, and, of course, the heads of state, President Francois Hollande and Chancellor Angela Merkel, will be meeting and will be giving an address. But we're not expecting any uh, grand uh, announcements. Today is a day of solidarity to show unity between France and Germany. But, of course, as many can't help uh, pointing out, this comes at a time when relationships are strained between the two countries. Today is a day of solidarity, um, but as the Euro crisis continues and continues into this year, 2013, relationships are strained. Hollande and Merkel come from different sides of the political spectrum, and since his election, he has been very critical of Angela Merkel's uh, methods of austerity for overcoming the crisis. He instead wants to see um, more of an effort put on, on growth measures. So difficult times for the Franco-German relationship, but of course today, I'm sure it will be all smiles and and shows of solidarity. Thanks very much for joining us, Jessica Saltz in Berlin. And thank you for watching. Join us again for more Focus at the same time tomorrow.